Imagine a pen without any ink, a room without light, and a world without children. Yet, my greatest question is, what are children without education? At the age of 15, some may postulate an immersion to orphans with special needs in my province are my eye-openers on how to wholeheartedly value life and education. Through our church, I was sent to several barangays to teach children I do not actually know. I've met a number of children who motivate me to work even harder, to be kind and compassionate, to appreciate the small things in life, and to be grateful for what I have. And since that day, I've realized the true value of education, its impact, and its significance on one's life. Teaching children of different ages with different walks of life uplift and inspires me to push this advocacy, which is pursuing the welfare of underprivileged children towards a good education. As I believe that education is one of the greatest gifts and blessings of life that has a very profound impact on one's life. We must recognize the value of education and enlighten these children about the brighter future that awaits them if they received an adequate education. Every youngster should have the opportunity to learn. One person, one idea, and one compassion. We must feed them with excellent values, right morals, and pieces of knowledge that they may bring everywhere they go and with whomever they are with, in order for them to make the world a better place. Start to think today. Be with me in encouraging our children to strive for their own good and let us find the method to equip them with a suitable education. I am hopeful that these children will one day be the key to a brighter future for everyone. They are exactly what our nation needs. We, you and me, it is our duty to value education that might touch these little ones' lives. Let us all unite to support, guide, and lead them to a brighter and fruitful future. Let them have an adequate education. I am Lorraine Jen Milohente, 21, from the Municipality of Victoria, Province of Tarlac.